What's going on e-bikers? Are you trying to add hydraulic brakes to your bike? I've been trying to do that for a while and I think I have found what is the easiest, most plug and play hydraulic brake upgrade that you can do and I'm gonna show you today. I'm gonna to do it today. I'm gonna to show you what I bought and tell you where to get it as well. I'm gonna to do it to this bike right here. This was once my 2018 Rad Rover bike. It is anything but that now. I've changed everything on this bike. It is a complete beast of a bike. Dual 750 motors, dual 52 volt batteries, bananas acceleration off the line. But there's one thing that this bike can't do well, and that has come to a stop. It goes 37 miles an hour, but getting to a stop right now with my cable actuated brakes is a little bit sketchy. So today we're gonna do a brake upgrade. Finally, I've been searching for like six, eight months to find hydraulic brakes that would be easy, like plug and play on this bike. And I finally found them and uh, we're gonna put them on today and just see if your average Joe, I'm not an e-bike technician, although I've learned a lot over the last three years doing this channel, right? Uh, I am not a bike guru or technician at any point in my life, including now, but I think these brakes are gonna be about the simplest thing that anybody on the planet can add. So let me show you what I got. All right, here is my Citizen bike. This is the 3.0 version. This bike's been through a lot, a lot of upgrades on this thing. Check out my Rad Rover playlist if you wanna see the evolution of this bike into the monster it is today but we're gonna put these on. So these I ordered from Big Game Bikes. I searched all over to try to find brakes that would fit this Rad Rover. Again, this is a 2018 model and should what I'm showing you here should fit probably any Rad Rover 5 uh, bike. It may even fit some others. It may fit, you know, Hemiways and some of the other ones. I don't know. You'd have to check the cable length and uh, how the calipers are set up, but it's supposed to work plug and play on the Rad bike, right? big game bikes i checked a bunch of other websites bolton or area 13 electro bike world they all have rad specific hydraulic brake upgrades but they are never in stock i could never find them in stock and i wasn't confident that buying a set off amazon that i would be able to find you know ones that lined up and fit perfectly because again i'm not i'm not a bike technician don't know what i'm doing but it doesn't get any easier than this check these out they're 100% done. Everything is connected. They're already pre-filled. All you have to do is pop off the old caliper, put this baby on there, and uh, pop off the old lever and mount this one on, and you're done. It's already 100% complete. There's no assembly required on these hydraulic brakes. They have the motor cutoff, wire, and everything. So this should be, I love simple, right? I've done a lot of upgrades on this bike and I love simple stuff. I didn't want to have to like bleed brakes and route stuff and assemble the levers. I'm sure it's not that hard. I could have figured it out, but when you can do something like this and it's just literally bolt on, <laughs> I mean, how can you go wrong? So you want easy hydraulic brakes. I mean, I don't know how you get any more simple than this. It, they're literally bolt on. So let's, uh, let's just take off the lever stuff and the caliper and stretch these on there. We'll be done. This should be a quick process. All right, well, we've encountered our first issue. This happens when you're installing aftermarket parts, right? And this is exactly why I make these videos so you guys can see the challenges I encounter. And uh, here's the first challenge. This is the rear brake, right? It's got the longer of the, of the brake line. So this is the rear brake, but the lever is, uh, goes on the left side. I don't know, but in America, the rear brake goes on the right hand, at least for bicycles anyway on uh, motorcycles, your front brake is on the right hand, but on a bicycle, I want the back brake to be on my right hand. This lever is uh, it's designed for the left hand, you know, it goes on there like that. So what do I do? Do I put the rear brake on my left hand, which I don't want, or do I just install it upside down? I might just do that. I might just put this on upside down like this so I can have my rear brake on the right side. I don't, is there any problem with installing it upside down other than it looks stupid? I mean, it should, 
should still function correctly, right? I mean, I can still grab it just fine. It just looks dumb. And if I ever have to bleed it, I'm going to have to flip it upside down so the fluid doesn't come out. But I think that's my plan. I'm going to install it upside down because <laughs> why not? This is my bike. I can do what I want. I want the rear brake on my right hand. I'm not going to take these apart and flip flop the levers and re bleed everything. I don't want to get into that. So let's see if it works. I'm just going to put it on upside down and go with that. Let's try that. All right, to get this caliper set in the right spot, I usually pull the back brake, squeeze the pads onto the disc, and then tighten everything up while it's in that position. And then when you release, the pad should back off appropriately, right? So let's give it a go. All right, it's done. It's on there. We've got hydraulic brakes now. How simple was that? Two bolts. Mount the lever and two bolts, and you're done. They are on there, they are functioning, they're working. Uh, the lever feels a little spongy. I wish it was a little firmer, but it does, it does work. I have hydraulic brakes now, so simple. This is my old brake caliper. I haven't removed it yet. I just wanna make sure the new ones were working before I took all this off, and they are, so we can remove that. Now, the only other drawback of this kit like this, having it all pre-assembled, is this. I've got my hydraulic line now that I have to run externally on the bike. You'd have to disconnect everything if you want to route it through the frame. I don't care though, because I, this bike is such a Frankenstein with double motors, double controllers, double batteries. I have wires externally routed all over the place on this bike. So one more cable on the outside of the bike, not a big deal for me. Mounting the lever upside down <laughs> like I did, I don't really see any problem with that. I mean, it's still works. You can still grab it normally. I mean, it's just upside down. So, I mean, I don't know how they do it. I think these brakes shipped from maybe the UK. So maybe they're overseas. They have their brakes on the opposite sides. I like the rear brake on my right hand and uh, just put it on upside down. It seems to work fine. The only issue, like I said, would be if I ever had to bleed it, I have to flip it upside down to, so it doesn't fall out. Crazy easy. Check it out. I'll link it in the description. You know, I don't work for them or anything like that. I don't get anything if you buy them. I just like to show you guys stuff I like. I like these brakes. Uh, we'll go out and do some testing on them, make sure they are awesome and that they can bring me to a stop way better. Um, what else are the gadgets? The steady racks, I mentioned those in the last video. That's been a space saving solution for me, these steady racks. I'll link them too, but to hang your bikes on the wall and move them around like that, super easy. Hopefully you can all rush out and grab these before they're out of stock on this site as well. But all right, we're out testing the new hydraulic brakes. Let's gain some speed here and, and do a stop. And stop. Oh, so much smoother and nicer. I didn't even pull them the whole way either. So smooth much better feeling yeah that was a great upgrade <laughs> it just it's more confidence inspiring when you come to a stall stop the other ones those cable ones they were just pulsing and shaking and i don't know man i they were awful it was it was scary coming to a stop from 
35 plus mile an hour on those. This is quite pleasant, actually. Let's spin around. I like that. Look at that other street. Let's turn around. I haven't even really finished bedding them in the whole way yet. I've done probably, I don't know, 10 good stops. I usually like to get like 20 or 30 good long stops to bed them in nice. We got a little bit of an uphill, but let's, let's crank it up. 30 plus uphill. that's so much nicer holy cow that was a a definite needed upgrade fantastic let's go over here and I'll, I'll show you how I routed the wires and everything and uh, what the levers look like because I have them on upside down let's see if she'll skid the tires oh easily very easily Ooh, here we go here's a nice big wide open field. Woo! Ah, this bike is so smooth. God, this upgraded version is amazing. It's so much smoother in every way. Now with the brakes too. Oh man, I love it. <laughs> you want to know the best e-bike? Here it is, man. Build your own. I built this sucker to make it exactly how I want it. Ah, oh, I love this bike. <laughs> Citizen 3.0 but here's the brakes all right so um, I have them on up these are upside down I have them on upside down but really you wouldn't even know it unless I told you I bet you 90% of the people wouldn't even have noticed if I hadn't pointed it out but I got them on upside down because I want you know the the right hand to be the rear brake so I just flip-flopped them that was the easiest quickest way to do it so that's what we did and I mean it looks good I honestly can't really even tell maybe they're supposed to be that way i highly doubt it because if you open the fluid reservoir it would just spill out so they're certainly upside down but they look good i don't have a problem with that whatsoever again it's you know my bike i can do what i want that's the beauty of it right so they're on upside down uh, but they work they function they look good i don't have any issue with that the wire or the cable routing for the hydraulic um, what i did was so coming out of the rear caliper here uh, comes right out here and I just use the original, you know, rad mounting tab things here. So it just comes right up the frame here. And then instead of going inside the frame right there, I just, I put a zip tie because there's a hole on each side. I put a zip tie through and around and then just zip tied it right to the bottom of the frame here. Same thing up here, routed it there. I know some people are like, oh, that looks terrible. Wow. Wires outside the frame, blah, blah, blah. I got so many wires <laughs> outside of the frame on this bike. It's irrelevant to me. And then, um, just tied into a bundle here i got two wiring harnesses on this bike running my independent motors and batteries and controllers and systems so i just have wires everywhere i got a spaghetti mess up there of wires but hey it works and this t bike is a ton of fun and now it's a little bit safer at least i can come to a smooth controlled stop and not worry about killing myself so i routed it just along the frame there and then the front um you know there's plenty of slack on the cable to come down right here again mounted it right through the original well this aren't these aren't rad forks there's nothing left on this bike that's rad <laughs> if i ever build another bike i'm just gonna start with a frame i think because that's all that's left on this bike that is a rad part um i've changed literally everything the rack and the frame are the only in the seat post maybe <laughs> really the only things from rad power bikes on this this bike this is mine now this is a citizen bike I'm excited about it. I'm excited. But plenty of, plenty of slack in the cable, so don't worry about that if you order these. I mean, you don't get any more plug and play than that. I mean, 10 minutes. 10 minutes, and I had hydraulic brakes on this bike. And they look good. Here, let me give you a close-up. There is the rear right there. Again, I did not use the spacer that they provided. I just took it off and mounted it right on the original mounting part. And then the front, that's what she looks like up here. I used my original spacer and original bolts from my original caliper. And we're good to go. Good to go. I mean, that's some of the best bang for your buck money I think I've spent on this bike. Uh, I think these are like 100 and, 
$28 maybe for that, for literally plug and play, just bolt on and go. I mean, simple solution, you want hydraulic brakes? There you go. Hope you uh, found this informative, helpful. If you're searching for brakes for a long time like I was, I think this is a great option. I'll let you know how they hold up. The uh, I was saying that the rear was kind of squishy. It's it's getting more feeling the more I use it. You know, you kind of pump them up a little bit, uh, squeeze it a couple times, and it gets a lot more feeling in it. So it's it's good now. I'm not gonna mess with it. They're both both really good feeling in them. There you go. If you like stuff like this, consider hitting that subscribe button. I put out content like this all the time. I try to do a couple videos a week when I got time. I'm in the middle of moving right now, so it's been hard, but I'm sticking to it. I got more bike overview videos coming up and scooter over overview videos and a couple other like miscellaneous things that i'm gonna take a look at for you guys that i think might be useful i like to review and do useful things that you guys find informative that's kind of the whole point of this channel to give you guys usable information right so there you go there's some usable information about hydraulic brakes for a rad again i, I would think they would probably work on most fat tire e-bikes I, I can't guarantee it's going to work on a hemiway or whatever but Maybe email Big Game Bikes and, and ask them. They might be able to tell you. But I, I bet it would probably work, honestly. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Appreciate everyone so much for watching. Truly appreciate it. Thank you. Talk to you all again soon. All right, looks like we timed out. Let's power on. Front motor, engage. Rear motor, engage. Oh, buddy. Oh, there's no path here. Gotta love wide open fields like this. 30 in this. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs>